how are you today? I hope you are having a wonderful start to your week. So I'm gonna show you how I do my nails by myself at home. I use gel polish or UV gel polish. So you do need a UV or LED lamp to do it and the special polishes. But I've been doing my own manicures for years. I'm not a professional by any means. And to be honest, the job I did on this hand was a little bit sloppy because usually I do it like so up close, but when you're filming it, it doesn't turn out that way. I know when I first started, it was actually really hard. You do get so much better the more you practice it. My manicures probably last like two weeks. I have a whole array of different colors and everything, which is great. And I can just do them at home whenever I like. I figured that this would be a really good video to put out right now in case those of you who usually go to a nail salon and get like acrylics or SNS. I've previously had SNS. Now we don't have that option because of the coronavirus. So if you are wanting to do this at home, you can buy products online, get them shipped to you, or I think Priceline is still open, so you can get a kit from there. You can definitely do it at home if you still want your nails done. The reason why I like doing the UV gel polish is because it makes my nails stronger, so they're less inclined to break, especially because I have had SNS, so they're not as strong as a normal nail that hasn't had any filing or anything on it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna get into the video. Okay, so excuse the excuse the mess. Um, so there's a couple of nails that still had some polish on them. So I've just, what I've done, so see that? So what I've done is actually wrapped up the polish. I'll just unwrap one and show you. So this is what it looks like. So you just put a cotton bud with some acetone. I just use the opalac one. It needs to be pure acetone. And you just wet the cotton bud and then you pop it on alfoil and then you wrap it up. And you wanna leave it for I'd recommend 15 minutes is a good amount of time. If it doesn't fully come off, then just leave it on some more. And then what you can do is I use one of these scraper tools and it just comes off. Okay, so the next thing that I do is actually push down my cuticles. Now you can soak your hands in a bit of warm water first. This will help to soften the cuticles, um, but I'm just gonna push mine down. And then I just use some handheld cuticle trimmers to trim the cuticles. And I also just trim off like the side skin that's all dead. You just have to be really careful to only get the dead skin and don't clip at your skin that is thriving. So now my cuticles are nice and clipped. I actually use one of these little tools just to even out the nails and file them and buff them. So I just work through all of the nails because you want it to be smooth when applying the polish. So I just get this from eBay, this little tool, and this is a nail file as well. It's got three different brains. So, so coarse grit to shape nail, medium grip to shape nail, and then three is, that's a fine grit. It's got step four, even out, step five, smooth the nail, and then step six, buff nail, and then shine nail. So I'll go ahead and do step four on all of my nails, and then I'll do step five and step six. So next up, you want to shape your nails. I just use a nail file, um, and I try and go for the square round shape. I don't get it perfect and some of my nails are broken so um, I don't use tips or anything I just use what I got on my nails so I just kind of like try and flatten it out and then soften the edges here's a little before and after so here's after here's before with shaping Now my nails are shaped, I'm just going to use some acetone to wipe them off. This helps the polish stick as well. I have my little light here. This one is from Vanity Planet and you can see like it's not quite big enough to fit your whole hand in. But I just hold it up and just curl my, hand, my fingers like this and hold it up. Um, you can see when it goes on, it covers all of the nails. And I just like the size of it. Um, it actually fits like in a little travel bag that I've got. And um, yeah, it has a timer on it. It's really good. I use the Opalac 
gel polish top and base. So I will start off using the base coat. I would recommend shaking your bottle, just tapping it in your palm, get all of the polish just shaken up, especially if it's been sitting upright. So this is a clear base coat. You just want a small amount. Just take your time and cover your nail with it. Sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. Now you want to make sure you don't get this in your cuticles and you don't put too much on. Um, that is really important that you don't put too much on. If you do get some in your cuticles and it's still wet, just clean it off with your other fingernail and just have like a little bit of acetone on a cotton pad nearby. And then you want to cure it. So I think that this one goes for 60 seconds. Sometimes it can get warm. Um, if your fingernails are in pain, you just need to push down on a surface and um, then it will go away. It doesn't happen very often and it, it doesn't do anything to your um, to your fingers, it just, I don't know, for some reason it happens and I learned that trick from a nail tech. Okay, so the color that I'm going to be using today is the Oli Smart Gels Lift the Veil. I just like this one because it's a really pretty pink. This one has like a really nice, cute little brush. So you don't want to get in your cuticles. The first coat may look like not very good, but as you go, and then this this one is actually like a transparent, like sheer color, which I really love the look of. I used to have an opalac one called High Tea, but then they made it um, opaque. So but I think that they've got a new sheer range, but I'm just like, I've got enough polishes right now. So yeah, there is. So there's the first coat and I'm just gonna cure it underneath the light. Okay, so there is the first coat. I'm gonna go ahead and put the second coat on. So I'm gonna put a third coat of this one on just because it is sheer. I think that they last better with three coats. What do you guys think? How many coats do you guys do at home? This one isn't perfect. I think because I'm trying to like get it in frame on the camera as well. Usually I have it like right up next to my face so you can see. Oh, got a bit too much there. And then we want to go in with the top coat. Let's just shake it up a little bit. Okay, you want to make sure that the whole nail is covered in this and you can actually see when you use the lamp because it lights up. Which I'll show you in a sec. So you want to again make sure to not get this in the cuticles. This product is a bit thicker than like for example the color that I was using but you want like a nice thick coat and it can help to seal the edges. To do that, you just run the brush lightly along the edges as well. And then just clean it up if you got a little bit too much there. See how that lights them up? I hope you can see it. I hit my little nail on something and you can see that it's not perfect. <laughs> so make sure you don't hit your nails on anything while it's wet. Um, if you do, just go over it with the color or polish. When that is done, you, you just want to get some acetone and clean. I'm just using some that I was soaking my nails in before. And there is your manicure. So here is the before and after. 
uh, you can see that my nails are pretty trashed beforehand. They're still fine, it's just that I haven't taken the polish off correctly and I used to have SNS as well. Um, but you can see that the polish is nice and shiny and glossy. And um, yes, this is the transparent color, but I just love the look of it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. You can finish off using a cuticle oil or even just some um, olive oil to help the cuticles and everything. So here is the finished product. I'm just like, oh. this hand turned out a lot better to be honest, even though I'm doing it with my right hand, which it's hard at first, but it gets better when you practice. Um, but because I usually, as I said at the start, paint them like really close. So this one's a little bit sloppy, but I hope that this has helped you, gives you some tips or tricks and shows you that you can actually do it yourself. And in the long run, if you do it yourself, you save like a ton of money. The reason why I stopped doing it is I was just annoyed at how much of a perfectionist I was. And it was taking me like an hour and a half, two hours to do it myself because I just sit there. And getting SNS done does actually last a bit longer on my nails. And I don't have to worry about them flaking off or redoing certain nails. That is the one thing about this is my nails like the color does flake off after a week or so or start to flake off. You can generally get around two weeks out of these. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you are staying safe and well and I will see you next time. Bye!